We'll just read his comment first. He says, five biblical festivals, question mark. I'm counting six, maybe seven, if the day of first fruits during Hag Hamatzot is included as its own festival. Now, I think what he means by first fruits is not Shavuot. That's not what he's talking about. Just to clarify, and this is not a, a dig on Tanner in any way, but just to clarify, the Torah speaks of first fruits as Pentecost or as Shavuot, not as uh, the festival of Hag Hamatzot or of Matzah. Okay, so I think that he's many people within uh, within modern day uh, within the modern day Torah movement refer to the the six days of or the seven days, depending on how you count it, of uh, Passover as first fruits. However, I don't believe that the Torah ever refers to it as such. So there, that just to I'm not downing anybody who calls it that. I'm just saying that there might be confusion if people hear that and they say, is he talking about Pentecost or is he talking about something else? Okay, so he goes on. Are you combining Pesach and Hag Hamatzot as one festival? Uh, normally I do. And the reason why is simply because it seems like in the apostolic scriptures that the apostles and Yeshua refer, refer to Passover and Hag Hamatzot as the same thing. So it seems by the first century they've already been melded. Now, could they be separated? Yeah, I see how people would do that from a Torah perspective, looking at the Torah and saying, well, it seems as though there might be two festivals here. I understand that. So if we did that, now I'm going to pass this over to Rob. He's going to make a case for only three biblical festivals here in a few seconds. But if we did that, <clears throat> I know you so well, Rob. I know you so well. Uh, if we did that, then you would have an extra one. So that would bring my counting from five up to six, okay? If we separated the uh, Passover from Hag Hamatzot, the Festival of Unleavened Bread, okay, now you'd have six. And then I am combining, and this is probably a mistake on my part, I will agree on this. Uh, I am combining Sukkot and Shemini Yitzeret. Shemini Yitzeret, for those who don't know, is simply, uh, it just means the eighth day. Or yeah, and so uh, basically, the Torah actually does separate these. It says seven days you should live in booths, and on this eighth day, so there would be a separation there. This would get us to the number seven, right? This would get us to seven festivals according to the Torah. Now, people like myself, uh, I'm not into gematria, but I understand that the Bible certainly does like the number seven, right? God likes using the number seven and the number eight, by the way but number seven would make a complete number. And so that would make sense. However, the Bible also likes the number three. Rob, that's your cue, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great question. Like, how do we, and, and one, one angle to come at this is the word hog, right? If we wanna be really formal about it, where the Torah just says there's three times a year. Right. And, where you and, go up, right? Yeah, and and so those are, and, and in that one you have Pesach and unleavened bread, kind of like you were saying. I see those as attached; they're inextricable, right, or in it, inseparable from one another. Um, and then Shavuot, and then Sukkot, of course. Um, but you know, so that's just another angle to come out and and look at the look at the uh the scriptures and how things are are labeled okay so we actually have some great co conversations going on in some great comments in the in the chat room um so i'll read two comments from john 17 project and then one from daniel so john 17's project says it always seems to me that there are seven listed in leviticus 23 sabbath passover first fruits shavuot what do we mean by so I once again first fruits is not first fruits is Shavuot is so maybe I'm misunderstanding here can can the John 17 project please clarify what you mean by first fruits are you referring to Shavuot twice here because that's how the the Torah so, so okay he lists Sabbath Passover first fruits Shavuot feast of trumpets day of atonement and Sukkot so First fruits, he is listing as separate from Passover and from Shavuot. That's interesting. Yeah, I would I have, think I'd have to see that uh, on paper. There is a, a thread in the Messianic or Hebrew roots where 
identifies that as a feast and then says that's the day of the resurrection that that is a picture of the resurrection. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.